See what a lovely day it is. It's absolutely gorgeous and I came here and the top car park was full and the woodland car park was full and out on the road uh, you know all the country lanes were full of people who couldn't get into the car parks. I was going to have lunch here but of course uh, I thought with this number of what's the queue going to be like so give up went to another cafe the one I sent you the photos of but anyway I had my lunch so I'm out here and as you can see, it's a fabulous day. Well, a fabulous day on Sunday brings the people out. Roads were full. Everybody got their kids in prams and... Yeah, terrific, isn't it? How about that, eh? I'm so lucky to have this place Clevedon on my doorstep. You know, otherwise it's barracks, housing estates, motorways. Oh, and by the way, the local motorway, the M4, which is a, a very, very major trunk road, well, he's having a bridge taken down and replaced as part of the uh, motorway improvements that are going on all over the country at the moment. So it's closed and uh, drove over it. It's closed the whole weekend while they're replacing the bridge and uh, drove over it. And um, I've never, ever seen that motorway before because normally it's covered in cars. And of course there were no cars. So uh, that was quite a sight. I'll probably never see that again in my lifetime. I hope they manage to get the bridge finished by the end of the weekend. Otherwise, with the uh, business traffic on Monday morning, my God, it'll be a shocker. Oh, there you go. Lovely, isn't it? See my shadow crisp, crisp and clear. Look at that weather. Compared with uh, the past couple of days, God, you can see about 30, 40 miles out there. Crikey. Last three or four days and before I left in December, the miserable weather. And now we suddenly have a high pressure and it's sticking around. And the weather is really, gosh. So this was built by the Duke of Buckingham in boom, 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 boom. DMD, so 15... 1500, 1851, 1851, but it's more famous for the um, uh, Astors, very rich people, the equivalent of the Rockefellers, a little bit later, and she became the first lady in Parliament, and uh, she must have had dual nationality or something, Canadian English or US English, but she was the, as I say, the first MP, and yeah, I think you have to be English. Or British rather to to do that. Amazing woman, amazing woman. Now it's a hotel. I think I look one three hundred quid a night. So it's people who don't need to come here because of business. They come here to stay in a luxury place. And sometimes you can see them having their sandwiches and tea in those windows. Let me walk up see if I can see them. See if there is anybody in sitting in the window. Oh yes, I can see tea and uh, in that window. Can you see it? Just about see it. Tea and cakes in the afternoon. A few people in there. 